Hello and welcome back to the Rainbow Library. Today I'm bringing you all a Harlequin romance book haul. So I've got seven Harlequin books here, um, which came in the mail today, and I was super excited. I've been waiting all day so that I could film this video. Um, and I've got seven different books here, and they're from a wide variety of imprints, and I've got a wide variety of tropes and different things like that going on here. So there's definitely something for everyone to enjoy. Uh, so let's start first with Bloom Where You're Planted by Darby Bam. This says, Blossoming into a Bright New Future. Together? Question mark. Um, this one sounds really good. Um, I've been definitely having my eye on this one for a while, so I was super excited that um, I was able to get a copy of this one. So the back says, What happens when the first blush of love fades? Jennifer Pritchett feels increasingly invisible and left behind as her friends move on to the next steps in their lives. As she goes to therapy to figure out how to bloom in her own right, her boyfriend Nick Carrington finds himself being the one left behind. Jennifer wants their relationship to have more intimacy, but he can't help but feel like he's being compared to others and found wanting. Can they each get what they need out of this relationship, or will the flowers shrivel up before they do? And this is book number two in the Friendship Chronicles. Next, we've got A Vow to Claim His Hidden Son by Maya Blake. This is book number two in the series, which is called, I believe, Ghana's Most Eligible Bachelors. Let me double check. Yes, Ghana's Most Eligible Bachelors. So I've got book one right here, Bound by Her Rival's Baby. I have not read either of these yet, um, but I'm really looking forward to this series. So I knew that um, once I saw the second one was available to order, I knew I wanted to go ahead and grab it because I have a feeling I'm going to like this one. Next, we have got Temptation in Istanbul by Hannah Shake. So this one um, follows billionaire Faisal, who is anxiously awaiting custody of his little girl, who has been living miles away with her mother. First, he must win the approval of her nanny, Marion, who has traveled with her to Istanbul. While he shows Marion the delights of the city, the instant interaction between them is hard to ignore. But Marion leaves in two weeks, so Faisal must decide how much of his bruised heart he is prepared to risk. So it sounds like a classic Harlequin romance there, and I also thought the cover was really adorable. So I wanted to pick that one up. Next, we've got A Family for Keeps by Janice Sims. This one has a lot of tropes that I am um, attracted to, and it also has a really adorable cover. Um, so some of the things that are involved in this one, um, there's a single dad, there's a friends to lovers romance, um, there's also going to be a lot of pining, I believe. Um, and there's also, it says on the back, a close-knit, vibrant community. So I'm hoping we'll get some eccentric characters, um, things like that. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Next, we have the first two books in a series by Pippa Roscoe, Snowbound with His Forbidden Princess and Stolen from Her Royal Wedding. I was listening to the Categorically Romance podcast, and Pippa Roscoe was a guest interview on there. Um, and she was talking specifically about this one, but they also mentioned some things from this book. And so it sounded like such a great series. And I believe the third one comes out maybe in the fall this year. Um, but I knew I wanted to jump in and give the series a try because it just sounded so good. Uh, and last but not least, we have The Bad Boy Experiment by Reese Ryan. This is kind of a classic um, Harvey Quinn Desire novel. It says, even if divorcee Renee Lockwood were willing to give love a second chance, she wouldn't choose Cole Abbott. The successful real estate developer doesn't do commitment, but he's perfect for a no-strings fling, exactly what Ren needs now that she's moved back home to raise her son. Um, and then, of course there's going to be some emotional feelings that develop out of that um, relationship, which was initially just going to be physical. Um, classic. So that one sounds really good. And of course it has a cute cover as well. So these are the seven that I got in my order today. So yeah, I'm really excited to get to all of these. And um, you may be seeing reviews for some of these in the coming months on the channel. Um, I'm hoping to start posting weekly here again, um, so you can expect plenty more Harlequin-related content. As you can see, it makes up most of my shelves here. Um, there's also some up there and down there. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you all for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.